as DEQ is failing to protect Virginia's waters, public safety, health, welfare, and future water security. DEQ ignores scientific and expert warnings against the project and DEQ's ineffective enforcement plan discounts citizen monitors detailed time and date stamp photos and videos of MVP continuing to pollute streams. We will blow our whistles. TEQ is failing to enforce environmental laws, endangered species, and clean water acts, or effectively stopping MVP from polluting our water. DEQ hasn't stopped MVP from drilling and working in the wetlands on Bent Mountain, while MVP lacks their permit. DEQ hasn't stopped MVP's drilling, wait, I'm sorry. MVP's water crossing permit application is under stringent water, Clean Water Act is uncertain and facing major legal challenges. In contrast, the U.S. Forest Service has prohibited MVP construction across the Jefferson National Forest while MVP lacks complete permits. We will blow our whistles on the DEQ. <laughs> DEQ has increased statutory authority to respond to imminent threats to waters by stopping work on the entire pipeline, but fails to use that authority to do so. We call foul and blow our whistle. <laughs> DEQ ignores resolutions and municipal concerns of local governments that must bear the impacts of MVP pollution and economic harms. We call foul and blow our whistles. <laughs> DEQ has allowed Virginia to be the conduit of a high compression frack gas project amounting to 1% of U.S. greenhouse gases that contributes significantly to mass extinction and unsustainable warming of our planet Earth and obstructing a livable future for our children. We call foul and blow our whistles. <laughs> DEQ's negligence in managing and enforcement of MVP has caused the public to lose trust in its ability and willingness to protect Virginia resources and follow its own mission. We call foul and blow our whistles. <laughs> Mothers Out Front Virginia calls on the DEQ to do their job to protect our water and endangered species from harm due to the Mountain Valley Pipeline Project, beginning with the following. One, enforce all environmental laws, such as ensuring the cleanest water habitat for the endangered Roanoke log perch, and keep MVP from working in wetlands where they don't have a permit. Two, immediately call a stop work to all forward construction and allow only seeding and stabilization for winter and repair and maintenance of erosion control devices. Three, investigate why the environmental inspectors aren't doing their jobs. The BMP's best management practices are wrongly designed, often wrongly placed, and are ineffective in protecting streams from harmful sediment and steep Appalachian slopes. Four, DEQ must require an Order 1 soil survey with ground truthing to submit to engineers to evaluate whether the MVP project is suitable and stable enough for the steep terrain it traverses. And for all of that, until they do, we will continue to blow our whistles.